Well, I hope you're holding on to something because I'm about to share something with you guys that I think is going to blow your mind as it definitely blew my mind. And it's something that's been missing for a very, very long time. And unfortunately has been the reason as to why our monitors have been wildly incorrect out of the box and we haven't been able to take full advantage of them on our gaming PCs. The reason for that is the lack of a OS level color management system. Now, this is a huge deal and it's something that we've actually had on Mac for a very long time and something we have desperately needed on Windows for years and years and years. And for this reason, we've been stuck to the sRGB color space and sRGB gamma curve, which not only is a more limited color space, but also a somewhat washed out curve to be looking at our images as well. As you might have noticed, if you do have a good working HDR monitor and you enable HDR while on the Windows desktop, everything looks just a little bit washed out, a little bit maybe undersaturated, and actually nothing is incorrect there. If your monitor is good and you're seeing the colors as intended, in sRGB, but sRGB is an ancient standard and we've been on DCI-P3, Gamma 2.2, and now even BT-2020, which are far, far larger color spaces for a very long time and those are necessary for HDR. So essentially what I'm telling you guys is, if this update, which comes from the official DirectX 12 account over on Twitter, turns out to be as good as I think it could be, we could finally be getting good colors on the Windows desktop and enabling HDR at all times and having it just look great. And I can finally start to actually create calibrations for the DCI-P3 and sRGB color space and have them be relevant to not only creators, but also gamers as well. Now, let's take a look at this real quick before I start losing my mind even further. So according to their account, they said, Quote, with today's Windows Insider build for Canary and Dev, users will be able to see the new color management settings page located under settings, system, display, and then color management. This new page allows users to add and remove color profiles, set defaults, and more. This is huge. As you can see on this image right here, we have on the left, the ancient and well current color management system, which I absolutely despise. It is so awful. I had to make a video trying to explain how it works. It is super convoluted, and this is like straight out of 1943. It is so awful, I can't even believe that it's still around. But on the right here, you can see that not only are those same features available in the new color management system in a much easier to read way, but take a look here, there is an automatically manage color for apps setting if this works really well, and they do have some sort of system that can not just stretch sRGB into DCI-P3, but actually somehow translate it and make it look somewhat accurate, well, for regular day-to-day -day users, this could be absolutely huge. I've been waiting for this for a very long time, and I cannot wait until this actually comes to, well, official Windows builds. And I'm gonna actually go ahead and take a look at it once I fix my computer as it's currently down as a RAM slot broke, but that's besides the point. I'm going to take a look at this and see if it's actually good because again, this is huge. This is a complete game changer depending on how good it's actually going to be and whether or not it allows us to change the gamma curve. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, Rupro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes of up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And with 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth, it can easily drive 8K 60 FPS or 4K 144 FPS 10-bit HDR video through its ultra thin flexible and durable housing and it even supports ER. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out Rupro on Amazon today.